Okay, it's our third approach to the Joker trailer. We're gonna, really? we're gonna have a fourth one when Nanny Die gets here. You're joking. You, everyone on the channel, so many people came to us. Bloody hell. <laughs> So many, so many of our followers found us through, I found out in the last 24 hours, through our original Joker trailers. And really? some people have been saying oh, they've been okay. waiting five years for this moment. Oh, was it five years ago? Five years ago. Do you know what? Um, I, this is with real trepidation that right. this film has come out. I loved the film, thought it was brilliant. What did you like about it? Because I thought it wasn't your, up your street it, it, No, it wasn't really up my street because I, I really do, I, I, I don't know, I think maybe in another life I was in a mental institution or something because it feels too... Ooh, sensitive to me, anything like that, I hate it. Um, like that film where it's all done on the phone, I can't watch it. That brilliant actress in a mental home. Oh, the one with uh, uh, Claire Foy. Yeah, yeah, because I love the like, everything about that film. I'm like, oh, I will never watch it. And so, the just, emergency services have just come outside. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that, <laughs> and we just that clip. There was like a moment's clip that we saw, wasn't it, where he's just standing in the rain tied up. I'm so traumatized by it, but what I'm really traumatized mm. about is the thought of how mad it's going to be having watched this film. Okay, well, I did my response at 3 a.m. That's our daughter. Yeah, I did my response at 3 a.m. That went down. Uh -huh. For all the film lovers, we went into it in sort of granular detail, shared my worries, shared my concerns about some of the uh, gossip and chat that has been surrounding this, this sequel, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, then we watched it with Maddie. You guys loved seeing Maddie respond, and Maddie had some of her sort of questions answered, but I'm not going to give away too much. But one of the things Maddie did say in her review was, she is really quite concerned how this is going to play with her relationship with Paddy because she said Paddy has no comprehension what I was like, what she was like with the well, first when, film. Well, when the first film came out, when our daughter has this very unique part thing in her personality where when she attaches loyalty yeah. to something or someone, it's petrifying. It's literally petrifying, right? And her loyalty to this film, to the story to the character, knows no bounds. There was no other person in the world that felt like Maddie did after this film. And it went on for months and- She said she lost herself for two months. We lost her. And it was, I was petrified that the Joker would come up and anyone would say something wrong about it. And I was saying this to her the other day, I said, Maddie, I'm not excited about the Joker because I'm too scared about what's gonna happen. It was a very dark time in my life, my choice. But you know what it was? It was just the thing like, when people just couldn't, and I was like, oh God, we're going back into it. Well, hang on a minute. Before we, me and Maddie reacted to the trailer on her pass, I was over there getting myself a coffee and she said, like this, she looked at me, she went, those people who gave it 65% oh, on God. Rotten Tomatoes. Oh no. <laughs> don't enter into an argument without just, Maddie. Just don't, don't check out our reaction. Just don't. Okay. It's not worth it and you won't win it. Now, the big, the big story behind this film at this stage, and a lot of us have been worried about it, I've quietly been worried about it, Maddie was quietly worried about it, and we're not going to reveal whether we're still worried about it because I want you to see the trailer. Can I know what you were worried about? Yes, that it's going to... Well, the rumour mill was that it's going to be a jukebox musical. Now, a jukebox oh, what musical... What would do? A jukebox musical can, it can be at two opposite ends of the spectrum. You can either have something like, like well, it's in which famous already established songs are given a twisted treatment within the film. So a good because example. Because of how successful the song was when he's coming down the steps. I think that was Barry the moment. Yeah. So everyone thought, of oh, course, this is what happens to show. Oh, that worked. Let's really overdo it and ruin it. Precisely. Oh, okay. So uh, a good example is Moulin Rouge at one end where they took great numbers and turned it into that. Music and Mamma Mia is a film at another end where they take all the songs and they, they, embed, they embed them within the truth of the film. The other part of it, which is a bit of a worry, so that was a worry. Well, was you... that a rumour then? Well, it's that not only really a rumour, it's been stated. Was it just stated. something you and Maddie dreamt of? No, it's been something. Variety magazine reported that oh. 15 jukebox tracks feature. I went into this thinking, you can't fucking do this to the Joker. You can't mess with this shit. And then I watched the trailer. Um, Lady Gaga's in it. Now, Lady Gaga was a star is born. I, I, like, I did her, adored her. Adored her in that. And there was a sort of low-key realism about her performance in that. Um, I'm not going to give too much. You guys know how I've reacted to this. And so Lady Gaga's in this, of course, which adds to the fear and worry for many fans of the Joker that is that why it's becoming a musical? Because bloody Lady Gaga's in it. So, without further ado, with all, that kind of, with all that kind of information knocking around and swirling around, we're now going to watch the trailer for the sequel, in which, of course, Lady Gaga plays Harley Quinn, his, as many people in the comic world know, it's his love interest. So this is going to be intriguing for you to see how this plays out. Can I just make a confession? Yes. Last night I was very, very tired when I came in and I was a little bit drunk. Yes. And Maddie said, Mum, we watched the Joker trailer and I went, oh. 
teaching and pretended that I was half asleep because I was so petrified. In so did case you made me sleep? watch. Well, I was very tired, but I was more petrified than tired because I thought, what if she makes me look at it while she's watching me? Because if I don't get my face in the right position, so are we safe? Is she in the building? She's not, though. Right. I, I, she is currently, apparently, uh, charting where you are on Snapchat. Oh, God. <laughs> you might think we're joking. Maddie we're not. watches people watching things she loves in the reflection when of the screen. When you're watching a film, you can see her watching you to see if you're... <laughs> yeah. she, any director would adore her, actually, mm. because she is like, she's a... She's oh, so no. loyal to the director. When, when you make something and you do this elaborate opening two minutes and Nadia's like, it's all right, I'm making a cup of tea, it's not crucial, I don't need to look. To a filmmaker, that's like she's saying... Like, she, she said, well, turn it off. It's me, to well, all of us. It's like, this is no, the... that is more in Housewives of Beverly Hills. No, babe, it's not. When feature films come on, you go, that's right, I get the gist. Well, no, get, the gist. get the gist. They've spent a week shooting I this stuff. I don't see that. That's only when the boring, bloody beginning bit's okay. going on. So with all that in mind, here we go. This is Joker. It's got two things. The title is Folle Adieu. Uh, have you seen the doctor? Which is not a mental condition, as you correctly say, but it's a it's a French phrase for a shared insanity. Oh God, this is going to be agony. A to shared watch. madness. I don't like how thin he's got. An insane kind of love. Keep the thought, beautiful disasters in your head. Mm. Okay, you ready? You ready? Mm. Hey Fleck, you got a joke for us today? I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. I like it. I've got a, it makes me emotional. It's beautiful. When I see such spectacularly brilliant filmmaking. That's beautiful. Every single second of it, every frame of it. Is it? Did you like it? Oh, I loved it. I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps. And uh, um, Zoe, thank you so much for sending me an Instagram post from somewhere else. That moment where she puts her hand on him and says, it's Latin, says, let's get out of here, it's La La Land. Where she puts yeah. her hand on oh, Ryan. Oh, yeah. And so... But is it is it them just only escaping in their minds? Exactly. That's what's going to make me And who's controlling who? What kind of twisted love is this? What kind of fucked up twisted kind of love affair is going to be? just all the time. And what about the smile where he hitches his face into that smile? Beautiful. Beautifully shot. I want to see the real you. Wow, so you're in. I, I'm, my goosebumps are still on me. It's a win! I tell him, who you call me? I'm going to call Maddie because I've been avoiding her. I think she knows you were watching it. No, but I've been avoiding her because I was like, I didn't want to watch it with her. <laughs> Tell her, you're going to put her on because, her Because sometimes even when I really like something, I, I, it doesn't come, I, I, no, I get I know. nervous I know. and then she doesn't believe me. I tried to not make you nervous, but you got goosebumps at the very point I got goosebumps. I got tearful. That's the fourth time I've watched it. 
Hello. Hi, darling. Hi, are you alright? Yeah, I just watched the Joker trailer. Oh, yeah. I said, for fuck's sake, you are playing with me. Like... I am playing with you. Okay. I got goosebumps on my goosebumps. So goosebumps on your goosebumps. Goosebumps on my goosebumps. But you know what I th what I realise like in the first few moments, it's only in their mind they escape. Yeah. Oh mad it's gonna break us. I know. What are you <laughs> gonna I'm probably gonna kill myself. Oh no! <laughs> Maddie. Maddie, what do you listen, we've gotta get a framework of support somehow for this. <laughs> I need a therapist. We can't fall into this again. How's Paddy I'm gonna go? Therapist pre Joker and Therapist post joker. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I, I wonder if that's the thing. I wonder I, if we were all quite yeah, Maddie, the pain of it, and, and oh my god, I got a little bit triggered from a Star Is Born pain that I had for her as well. Oh, so, yeah. oh my god, and then if they're going to be horrible and beat him up, I can't take it. What about the lipstick at the end? It's so oh. brilliant. Oh. When he puts it's his literally. mouth into it, so subtly, it's so incredible. It's no. so incredible, and the dancing, and when what she puts. Did I kill myself? Maddie, <laughs> I uh, Maddie. I'm worried about myself. I'm worried. I'm worried for all of us. <laughs> but I can't not see it. No, you can, maybe no. she needs to see it in bits. Maybe she needs to see it in a straight jacket. I can't watch it in bits. What? It's ridiculous. What about wearing a straight jacket? Straight jackets when we do a thing, I'll smash my head into the <laughs> <laughs> This is dark. <laughs> Why do you think it is that you feel so like that? Because it's so sad. Yeah, it's yeah. sad. I'm too much of an empire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you are even for the director and everything, aren't you? It's just like you're just going to kill. We are, listen, I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm scared. I, I'm not, I'm scared. But Maddie, yeah, Maddie, listen. Be in a padded room, so there's no way I can get yeah. myself. Yeah, take the soft play areas. Soft, take it, take it to Gambargo's. <laughs> Gambargo's. Yeah, go to the top and then I'll jump. Oh, <laughs> or I'll oh run, my! I'll run straight into the bumper car. <laughs> <laughs> run straight into the bumper car. Oh man! Who are you going to see it with? I might have to see it alone. I think that's a good idea. But we'll pick you up. <laughs> I think it's with should. a white van and men in a stretcher. Find me afterwards. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll bring a stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think sit separately and then walk home with a butt like a few feet behind her. Yeah. No, that can only. Because I won't be able to talk like last time. She'll say that. One of us will say that. Are you going to see it with Paddy? No, no. no if Paddy sees it with me, you'll probably break up with me. Oh. No, no, not only. You'll break up with him because he will not be able to deliver in the right. <laughs> he, he, won't, he won't be able to no, deliver in the won't. right order of emotions. I will stand at the same level as I will. No. Exactly. You'll be urging and looking. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm going to do straight after this I'm going to text him and say whatever you do the the oh he's there <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were Anya's listen <laughs> take take this very very stern advice Paddy do not watch it with Maddie because your emotions will be the wrong whatever they are they'll be wrong <laughs> no, they won't be no. or they'll be in the wrong order no it won't be enough no, 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 no. Don't even joke that you'll say it's all right. You can't. Listen, promise me you both don't go. Yeah, they know what I was like off the first one. They know it's actually a possibility that I'll kill myself. He's laughing because he doesn't know. He's got, <laughs> he doesn't but, know. He's got no actually, idea. When, when does it come out? The film? He's got no idea. October the 10th. Okay, we've got until October. Yeah. And then, Paddy, from yeah, now no, until October, Mark and I will be counselling you through on how yeah. to get through this. They'll be counselling you on how to get through this. <laughs> Yeah. He keeps laughing, he's not taking it seriously. He's not he's already I'm, really, I'm scared for him. <laughs> and he's not even seen the trailer. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, well, I've seen the trailer. I spoke in the trailer after he had watched it. Yes. And he was still a bit tired because he'd just woken up, so it wasn't a great reaction. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we'll leave you now. <laughs> Maybe show him it again now. Well, we're still on the winning ticket, and um, we'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <Love you. laughs> Bye. 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 Oh, you now. Oh, my God. She's not joking. It's it's a serious, serious problem. We have to really think about this because actually we've got it. We've got it doubled because Lady Gaga is getting the same amount out of me as he is. Oh, she, two, will, she will tear me to pieces. They're going to tear us to pieces. They're going to yeah. tear each other to pieces, us to pieces, and yeah. the rest of Gotham City. Yeah, we're all fucked. We're doomed. We're all doomed. <sighs> I'm just texting, I was just texting a boyfriend saying, we're not, I'm not joking, do not agree. To, and this is in October. We're well, we've got, got a good six months. Yeah.